My name is Parker Hallmark and I'm a new Stephen minister. Um, uh, I'm excited for the opportunity. Uh, as going through the training, one thing that continually struck me over and over again is that while we might be um, available to help and we might be able to listen and we might be able to offer comfort, ultimately we as the caregiver have to rely on God as the cure giver. Um, and uh, just keeping that in mind and continually being reminded of that is something that I have found to be very important and will rely on that. What I've learned through number one is Stephen Ministry is a lot of intensive training, but the major factor that I've learned is that you don't always have to have an answer to everything and you don't have to have an answer to the problems or whatever situation. You just have to have a listening ear and a prayerful heart. My first language is Spanish, so it's a big um, change for me to do this in English. But I know um, I am learning how to how to love other persons and how to care one to one. And this is the way that Jesus want to to ask for help people in necessity. The thing that I'm most impressed with with Stephen Ministry is the people that I'm training with and the people that I'm working with. I feel like it is an excellent group and the support that we receive from one another has been phenomenal. I, I truly believe that it's a place that I need to be. I've always realized how important it was to have a good listening relationship, but when you include God in that listening relationship, it increases that so much. In preparing to be a Stephen minister, I've discovered that it's not so important what I do for my care receiver, but what Christ can do through me. As we started our trainings each week, um, it was often awkward and I would feel unsure and think, how could I ever be a good caregiver for anyone? But as time went on and as we practiced our skills and our, our leaders encouraged us and lots of prayer, um, I started to see those um, skills show up in my daily life and realized that um, I can be a good caregiver for someone and not only for that person but for the others that I have interactions with each day. Um, one thing I'm looking forward in Stephen Ministry is to walk along someone who needs that extra help, that extra person to be there just to listen to them. I know I could have used this a lot in my um, life, especially with the loss of a child. Um, Another thing I've learned a lot in Stephen Ministries is the new strategies and um, that I'm not only going to use in Stephen Ministry, but in every parts of my life through relationships, including my teaching. Just learning the different aspects of what a Stephen Ministry is and what they do for the community has been so impactful to myself. Learning how to talk to people during their hardest times, learning how to listen to them uh, and to see their what's going on in their lives and to hopefully shine to where that they can slowly improve in their life. From the training, I feel like I'm becoming a better listener. I've learned how important it is to really think about what the other person is saying, to, um, to empathize with them and to ask thoughtful questions. The most important thing, though, I've learned is that it's not my job to fix the person. Um, God is the one who's in the healing, and it is my responsibility to walk with the person, to listen to them, and to give them love and support. As we go through life, we tend to kind of stack up a, a list of trials and times when life doesn't seem to go so well. And I've often asked that question, we all ask of why, why God, why did this happen to me? When Stacy Elizondo contacted me about becoming a Stevens minister and she shared with me what it is that a Stephen minister does and how they walk through a difficult time with someone else and how it's helpful to have had difficult experiences yourself so that you can empathize and, and relate to their situations. Felt like God was saying, this is what you do with all of that. This is what you do with all of that hurt and pain and anguish that you've 
endured for so long. I still don't have an answer to that why question. I still don't know why these things happen, but I do know what to do with it now.